Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Learn to Fly video. And in today's video, I'm back at Wellsbourne Mountford in Warwickshire, United Kingdom. ICAO code EGBW, and I'll be attempting my fifth circuit here. So let's jump in, and I'm just going to have a quick show of the new scenery that I've been working on. So you can see I'm parked across from the tower and the touchdown cafe. If we just jump into the drone camera, and we'll have a little zoom around and I can show you how it's been going. So we've got this little station here, which I believe is uh, an old RAF VOR transmitter, maybe. So that's been custom modelled now. And as we get down here, we can see we've got the tower, we've got the touchdown cafe, we've got the Aeros Flight School, this little Sibcas uh, cabin here. I've started to model the wartime museum. So We've got some planes in here now. I haven't done the buildings yet. Don't look too closely at these planes. This one's supposed to be a P-56, but I can't find a P-56 model. So uh, it's just something that resembles it. Um, so that's all coming along there. I need to do the buildings to that. I haven't gone down as far as the Heli Air buildings yet. But all this is looking pretty good. And we've got the hangars around here as well. And if we go around the front... We can see we've got the sign for the Touchdown Cafe, etc. around here. I've also added custom windsock models now. So the windsocks look more like the ones at the airfield, these orange windsocks. And I've made it as well so all of the ground crew no longer show up. So you don't get the pushback trucks, which was a little bit unrealistic. And I've changed the parking spaces so you now get different planes spawning. So you don't get all the same planes spawning and also it looks a little bit more um, varied down here now. So anyway, let's jump back in and let's start doing this circuit. So first things first, let's do our pre-flight checks. Let's turn that on. Let's turn our beacon on. Let's sort out our altimeter. Everything looks good there. Um, check around turn on turn on clear prop engine comes on forgot to put the mixture in I actually forgot to check these were working so let's do that right engines on anyway let's not rush this stuff I feel like I'm rushing it already turn on the radios transponder to alt let's go all the way around to alt Everything's fine. That's okay. Everything's coming on okay. That's fine. Suction is in the green. Yep. Right. Let's request taxi clearance. Echo Golf Bravo Whiskey Traffic Cessna Golf. Julia November Papa Lima is taxiing to runway 18. So I'm doing the 18 circuit again. Turn on our taxi lights. And that should be everything, so let's get ready to taxi. Parking brakes off. I'm really happy how this scenery is coming along. It's really starting to look like the, the actual airfield. You really get a, a sense that you're actually there now. I've done little uh, touches as well. If you look up into the tower, you can see this little guy up in the tower working the uh, working away up there. If you are familiar with this airfield in real life and you notice any discrepancies with this scenery, then uh, please let me know in the comments down below, uh, and I'll try and fix what I can and do what I can. And also if you have any reference photos of areas in the airport that I've not done yet, such as the Wartime Museum or down by the Heli Air area, that would be really useful if you could point me in the direction of any reference photos, as pretty much all of this has been done from photos that have been provided to me or I've found on Google. So it really does help having something to base things on. Going a little bit fast on this taxi, but it doesn't really matter. Let's get to the uh, the taxi point quicker. Right, 
I've got the weather set to a nice clear day just so it looks nice and it keeps my frame rates up as I'm still having trouble with my graphics card so um, I've got everything set to medium and the uh, the the render resolution set to 80% so everything might look a little bit blocky but that's the reason why so let's turn in here and do our our checks brakes aren't everything is fine so far let's throttle up to 1700 there we go carb out get our dip carb back in mag to R we get the dip back to both mag to L we get the dip back to both all the T's and P's look okay suction is in the green right let's reduce our throttle again parking brake up let's get to the hold short line I've also made the uh, the taxiway signs a little bit smaller. They're the smallest size now, but they still have kind of like this glow to them. Whereas the ones at the real airport are just like metal plates. But these are the only ones that are provided in the sim at the moment, so that'll have to do. Right, almost ready to take off. So let's just double check everything first. Not taxiing anymore. Going to keep my landing lights on. Let's turn my nav and my strobe on. Set to alt, that's fine. Altimeter is set correctly. Everything is okay. Flaps are up, ready to take off. Mixture is full. All the T's and P's look okay. Set to alt, that's fine. Right, so let's announce we're going to take off and remain in pattern. Let's get on the runway and get up in the air. Another thing I've noticed as well is these threshold lights, these red lights here, are too close to the runway. They should actually sit right at the back, but the problem is in the sim, is if you add the threshold in so the lights go back, you get these white arrows up here that you can't get rid of. So until that's fixed in the SD cam, we'll probably have to leave that as is for now. Let's concentrate on taking off first. and rotate A little look over at the uh, scenery looking really good my right climbs a bit too high get to this view just get that where I want it to be about there maintain this right of flight heading south and we're looking out for a little white field just to the left over there and when I see that just go past me I'm gonna make my turn just watch my altitude I'm climbing a bit too fast 
There's a little white field just down to the left there. So we're going to make our turn now. Then we're going to roll out on a west heading. Still need to get some lubricant or something for this yoke. It's still sticking. I'm turning a bit too tight there. Let's correct that. Let's roll out and try and correct the height. It's such a pain with the... You can't do gentle movements on the yoke. Right, let's slow my speed down a bit. And now we're going to do our next turn to the north. No, too high. Just sticks in this, this middle point. Makes it very difficult to do slight adjustments. I definitely need to fix that. It's it's making keeping the altitude at a thousand quite difficult now. I'll try and compensate a bit. There we go. I can see the farm straight ahead. I'm gonna pass over that. Well, right, let's just announce we're on our downwind. Do our checks. Gears are down. We've got our landing lights on. Everything else is looking good. Seat belts, I'm drifting a little bit. So let's sort that out. Everything's looking good for a landing. We can see the airfield over to our right. I've got pretty level flight. I'm a little bit too high. So let's just dip the speed a bit. See if we can get us down to 1,000. That no, I'm just gonna slowly climb a bit there. Right there we go. Nope, that's too much. This is where I really could do with those gentle movements of the yoke. <laughs> just to get it centered. Right there we go. We've got to go around that town over there. I've drifted a little bit too much to the left here as well. So I'm gonna really make my uh base a struggle here. Yeah. I can't even see the there's uh Hampton Lucy. Yes yeah, so I'm closer to that than I'd like to be. So what I'm gonna probably do is go a little bit further past it just to correct my base in final. Right, that should do. Now I'm going to turn, and we'll try and turn quite tight to uh, fix my drifting. Otherwise, I'm going to struggle to get onto this final. Let's get round east. There we go. Kill that power. Bring out the carb. Hold it off. Bring out the flat. Start this final turn. Let's get that nose down a little bit. Right, that's not too bad. I'll bring that in gently now. I've undershot a bit, but I can bring it in gently enough and get online. I'm a bit far out. There we go, we've got runway in sight bit too quick. Let's just lift the nose. <laughs> I've ended up overshooting a little bit anyway. Not by a lot. I can fix this. Right, let's second level of flaps and just dip my nose to keep that speed up. There we go. I'm back online at least now. I'm at 70. She's pretty good. Relatively happy with the picture out the window there. Right of descent is 5, which is okay. Coming in. Final level of flaps. Q. 
kill that speed. Hold it steady, looking at those end of that runway. And we're down. Again, not a bad landing. Certainly wasn't as rough as the last one. I'm finding that I can adjust better now if I mess the pattern up. I do still find that if the pattern goes awry at some point, then every other part of the flight gets difficult. So I still need to work on making sure I nail every every leg of that pattern. Let's just go to the end of the runway. I'm not going to come off at runway 05 here, just so I can uh, show the the other wind sock that's down here that was added in as well. Also. I'm not sure since the last video um, if the the taxiway signs were fixed. So now they are all correct. So there was always this one here that was um, I had both at C, which was incorrect. So one is D. That is the one that I'm approaching here is D, and the one um, up the other end, all the way down, and kind of like the runoff up there is. B and the number on it is uh, for the two runways so that's all been corrected now as well let's just speed up and drop my mixture for this I'm not sure as well at some point whether to actually put some modeled houses in over here rather than these auto gen buildings that I've added like I could do a couple of generic Houses that match the houses in that estate and just place them around because at the moment they're just kind of like uh, Random airport buildings I've added just so it looks like there's houses there. Anyway, there's the other wind sock that's been modeled now Also as well, I've noticed on uh, some reference videos and that there are signs here and I believe those signs are telling uh, pilots about the um, the noise sensitive areas Um what would be great is if anyone does have any photos of those signs, like really close up, so you can read the uh, the words on them really well. If if you could give me one of those photos, then I could use that as reference um, to actually recreate those signs and put them in as well. Let's just stop here and sort out all my stuff. So I mean, now that I'm clear, let's put my parking brake on. Um, I'm going to take my flaps up, put the carb back in. Um, turn on our taxi lights, turn off our landing lights, turn off our nav, turn off our strobe. Right, now we're ready to roll back to parking. And again, all of this area down here hasn't been touched yet. So we've got the fueling area down here where it's just generic at the moment. I do need some reference photos for that. We've got the heli air hangar here which is still the generic building. Again, I need reference photos to model that correctly. I have added in another helicopter now. So there's these two R44s. So there were three R44s, but now there's just two. Um, and I've added in an R22 there, just to make it look a little bit varied. There's somebody here fueling up. Hello, fellow pilot. So these look a little bit uh, more varied and I've taken out the metallic on these helicopters as well as they were really really shiny so now they should look better and there's that uh, R22. I need reference models for all these, uh, reference photos for all these buildings down here and for these hangars. Um, these are all just generic at the moment so once I get some reference photos I'll make these better. And as I say we're coming past the uh, wartime museum here. These are all generic buildings, but the planes I've added represent the planes that are actually at the wartime museum. So that looks pretty cool as you're rolling on by. If you're used to the airfield, you get a, a nice look at all those. Let's just stand this centre line. And we've got the aero building down here. And we've got the tower. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this scenery is turning out now. It's uh, really starting to look good. I'm going to park between those two planes yeah, they're all 
will do. Right across from the hangars. And there we go, that was a pretty decent circuit. So let's just make sure we do our shutdown checks. So everything's looking okay. First thing we do is turn off our transponder. So transponder to off. Then we can turn our radios off. Radios go off. Then we're going to kill our mixture to turn off the prop. Bring that all the way back. The prop has stopped. So we're going to put our key to the off position. Now our key is in the off position. We can turn off our beacon. And let's also just turn off the shut off file so we don't get the menu. And then we're going to turn off our master switch. And there we go. We've settled. And I think that was a pretty successful circuit. I definitely feel I am getting better. If you like this video, please leave comments down below. And leave any likes or dislikes. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.